Welcome, let us introduce you Leonard Bloomfield. He was born in Chicago, Illinois in 1887 and died on April 1949 in New Haven, Connecticut. He is one of the most important American linguists of the first half of the 20th century. He emphasized observable phenomena in the spoken language rather than abstract mentalistic process. His work helped to establish linguistics as an independent scientific discipline. He published his first book, Introduction to the Study of Language, in 1914, dealing with the aspects of language. And his second book, Tagalog Text with Grammatical Analysis, was published on 1917. In 1921, he met behaviorist psychologist Albert Weiss. They both applied the logical positivistic approach to science and agreed that linguistics needed a more mechanistic and less mentalistic approach to qualify as a scientific discipline. In 1924, Bloomfield, together with George Bowling and Edgar H. Sturman, founded the Linguistic Society of America. He published his master work, Language, in 1933, through which he achieved his fame, where he focused on the study and use of language and languages of the world, the phonetic structure and change, syntax, morphology, written records, dialect, geography, etc. Bloomfield applied behaviorist principles which say that humans and animals can be observed and understood without recourse to inner mental states, providing valuable data on how both animals and humans learn appropriate responses to their external environment. He adopted the concept of language as a structure from Ferdinand de Saussure. He said that languages at all times consisted of systems of interrelated elements, lexical, grammatical, and phonological. It was the study of some indigenous languages that formed and distinguished the term American structuralism developed by Bloomfield and its methods as we already know. He also emphasized that linguists need to study spoken language, writing down documents written in a language. Because language changes over time and the meaning of something today might be different from what it meant in the past. Every language must be described in and by itself. In this sense, there are no universal categories. The concepts, noun or adjective in English must be different from those in French. Every language should be considered as a system of relations. Every unit, every element in the system has no value but by itself. If isolated, its meaning has to be established in relation to all the other elements in the language. Bloomfield says that linguistic study must always start from the phonetic form and not from the meaning.